Hey everybody, welcome to Obscurities in Miniatures. Today I have a fun little model, well, he's not really little, but that's okay, that I came across the other day while digging around on social media looking for other new interesting lines, and this is a model of Tsukiyomi, which is the god of the moon in Japanese mythology, and it comes to us from Clay Cyanide Studios. Now, for whatever reason, when I was printing him, I got all kinds of weird errors, and I noticed that the moon here, you'll see, is kind of weirdly shaped at the bottom. There is a reason for that. He does come in three parts, Tsukiyomi himself, and you can see he is quite glossy and shiny at the moment. We will give him a good spray of primer before all is said and done, so you guys can see how he looks. I think that's okay, supports. How the hair turned out there. And then there's his base, and for whatever reason, I got this nice hole in it. He was already hollowed out. I don't remember. There might have been an unhollowed version. I went with the easy pre-support version. But yeah, so that's obviously going to need a little bit of green stuff. You can see here it is hollowed out. How does it all look? Well, our friend Tsukiyomi is going to sit right there. And then with these wavy ridges along the bottom of his moon... I believe it is supposed to sit kind of like that. Which makes for a cool looking, you know, display piece. Um, and I do say display piece because if you put him on the table with just a regular model, you can see just even his human form is going to be quite big when compared to a regular human. Now, personally, uh, I don't like leaving unfinished, hollowed out models on the base by themselves, so I probably will put it on a base. I'm thinking a 50 millimeter base is going to be the right size. And that way he's a little bit more sturdy on the tabletop. So, let me get some primer out of the garage, and we'll give him a good spray, and I'll show you how he turns out in case you're curious. Okay, I got Tsukuyomi all put together here and we'll see if I can get the camera adjusted so you guys can see better. Woo! With high-tech effects, right? Okay. He's a tall model. Very much a vertical model here. I don't actually have him glued. He's just blue tacked on there. But you can see how everything is supposed to fit. This didn't all cooperate with me, but I think it looks okay. It's not going to make a huge difference if Tsukuyomi is not exactly on that base. I have absolutely no idea how I'm going to paint any of this stuff, but we will come up with something. Um, you can see here, some of his sides did not print that well. I don't know what was going on. That was uh, when we had some of those really, really hot days in early September. So I'm gonna blame the weather. I don't know if that's actually the case, but it's a good excuse. But I think overall he came out pretty nice. I am going to put it on a base. I'm thinking probably a 50 millimeter one would be the most appropriate. Actually, maybe a 60. Yeah, 60 might work a little bit better, you can see here. So there's a little bit of space. It didn't print flat at the bottom, but that is 100% my fault because he is hollowed out on the bottom there. And it just kind of distorted a bit. Let's see, grabbing some other models just to give you guys a good sense of scale. So yeah, he definitely is in God mode here. He is absolutely going to be bigger than an average human. So at least try to find something vaguely samurai-ish. I don't have any out today for some reason. What have I been filming? Oh, never mind. Here is Drunken Hiroto and our Miramoto prodigy. So just so you can see, I mean, he almost would make kind of a cool statue as well, uh, given the base and the whole background with the moon on him and stuff. But now I'm going to try to paint him. I'm thinking lots of blues, whites, and grays. Maybe some purple in there. I'm not sure. A bit of gold as well. Problem is most of my samurai tend to be in red colors. But, you know, I think that's all right. 
So absolutely, definitely, something a bit different than our usual fare of gaming miniatures. And I do like the whole kind of diorama-like base that's included with him. And that seems to be kind of the operating procedure for a lot of these models at this point with clay cyanide miniatures. They do have very diorama-like bases. So if you're into that and you want something really different to paint, I think you might want to try giving them a good look-see because there is definitely some interesting stuff there. We'll put a link down below, and hopefully if you guys have a chance, do check it out. With that said, this has been High Lord Tamberlane with Obscurities and Miniatures. Saying thanks for watching, and we'll see you back here soon. Bye-bye!